on guys happy father's day sunday finally weather is beautiful a little warm out but perfect so i was able to get the car washed up just now and it's been a while I haven't seen you guys or did a video in a couple weeks but i just want to do a quick rundown of uh the air ride suspension and how it's been doing for me uh it's been great Let's see still all together running good i've had it going for a couple weeks now so i was able to set my ride heights and everything where i want them and also set my dampening to my liking so i set it to a little soft side just so it doesn't uh bounce around so stiff as much but right now the car is sitting up at its highest setting but uh everything's good I still do have to put the spacers on, but I got to get them on and then trim down my uh, lug bolts to because these rims actually don't have uh, enough space on the back side of them to fit the lug bolts with the 18 millimeter spacers up front and the 20 millimeter out back. Everything else been working great. The air ride suspension has been amazing. I know a lot of people have been asking why do I do it? Why did I do it? Um, but yeah, I just did it because I can. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna love show car, and so this will be going to shows. And the tension that it gets when it's aired out or even lowered in my lower lower setting, uh, it's actually pretty good. Everybody's uh, always inquiring about it. So yeah, that's why I did it. Um, it ride is the ride is way better also by the way so the ride uh, just much more plush it seems like and then I can firm it up obviously with uh, adjustment to the dampening but I like it a little more plush but yeah it definitely rides better uh, driveway right there it's pretty a steep incline we did rock it put some rock down to kind of uh, make it a little better so I don't scratch the crap out like I had been doing but yeah, it's easy to get in and out now, so I just hit the button and it uh, goes up as needed, and then I can air it out. So let's see if I can get Sophia to help. So come help show these people how to set the air ride. And there's little Lila running around. Go, Sophie, come on. Up or down? On the all the way down. Let's hit it two times and then hold it down. There we go. Card aired out now. Simple, easy. I only do this when I park somewhere or anything while I air out and let it sit aired out. But I still think it looks really good. I just need to get the spacers on to fix the fitment a little bit and then I think I'm eventually gonna go a different set of rims but I do like the look of these but I just don't know if the fitment is exactly what I want but they work for now so yeah self hit it up the highest or the middle to the highest one not the middle one but the one above it two times There it is, aired up. Just enough to get out of my driveway. It's probably about an inch and a half, almost two inches at my high setting to get out. So no issues rubbing or scraping on anything. So it's been good. So I'll hit the middle one, the air lift button, two times. So that's my standard drive height right there so I'm about an inch above tire just to keep good clearance uh, most of the time I drive in my low setting but I do put it in this setting and also this is the wife setting so she can get in and out of parking lots over speed bumps and all that stuff so I've hit the one right below the airlift two times So that is my low setting. So this is where I pretty much drive at right now, is this setting on when I'm on the highway, driving back and forth to work. 
uh, my efficiency, battery efficiency has uh, greatly improved with lowering the car and driving it at this ride height for, to and from work. So it does help. That's the other. That's the other plus to having adjustable suspension is I edit, like I said, a push of a button. I can adjust the ride height to wherever I want and uh, it helps with efficiency. Battery efficiency is uh, actually improved quite a bit when I'm driving in a lower setting. So I've noticed that I did a few little tests uh, for like the last couple weeks of at my standard uh, mid height driving, which is about, eh, about a half inch lower than actual stock and that's I haven't really noticed much difference compared to before but when I ride in my lower setting my preset low so my preset low is set right now at 77 or better at 75 so 77 75 75 and 77 it has my ride height sensors so that's why the uh, pressures aren't perfectly set evenly but that is pretty equal just because the ground we're on is is pretty where we where we're level but yeah, that's my low preset is 77 uh, PSI pretty much, 75, 77 PSI. And that puts me about a half inch lower than stock. Oh, sorry, excuse me, an inch and a half lower than stock. So that is there. Uh, my other drive height is usually, it's say close to 100 PSI is my ride heights around there. One oh, like 100 to 105 in that range and that's a that's half inch uh, below stock lower than stock and then uh, my highest preset high is 130s around 130s around there just depending on uh, the way the car's sitting but you'll see it's adjusting itself down that 152 150 so it'll drop itself down to you can about one 130 for the front and that puts me about an inch over uh, stock half inch inch so above stock and then I can go up higher than that as needed but I don't with a all the way all up but I don't ever use that because I don't really need it to go that high but yeah that's been good so obviously my air out which always catches everybody's attention but yeah so just a little quick rundown of what my air ride has been and how I had it set up and it's been great I haven't had zero issues with it everything's been uh, working as, as planned I do have a set of uh, of uh, some different uh, the pump mounts so that way they're a little quieter during while they're running during the runtime I mean they're they're loud but they're not obnoxiously loud when you're driving in the car so you don't really notice it that much but I just want to quiet it down a little more just having a car that makes zero sound when it's driving and then having the pumps run every now and again when I air up it uh it's not super annoying but I would make it a little bit quieter anyways but yeah so that's it only other uh, updates I have for the Hand Show DIY kit. I've been getting, uh, thank you everybody for watching that. Hopefully it's been helping you guys with install. Um, everything's been good on my front passenger side. Uh, the cables did come loose a little bit. So every once in a while I was driving and it would cut out on that side. So I figured the cables were loose. So as soon as I pulled it off, sure enough, my zip tie worked its way loose. So I just put the zip tie back in, taped it as well, so that when it come back out again, I haven't had a problem since. Um, but yeah, the DIY kit's working great. Haven't had no issues besides that. Uh, the wire's coming loose a little bit on that side, but that was fixed pretty quick. I figured it, as soon as I heard it cutting out, I knew exactly what it was. So I went in and fixed it, but that's been working great. Um, also, if you're interested in purchasing a hand show, uh, DIY kit or audio upgrade kit uh, use my my link I'll put it down below to get yourself a 10% discount on all audio and then a 15% discount on any other hand show products they have so they're coming out with a ton of stuff they have uh, anybody that's less older than 2021 or the 
refreshed model you can get uh, your they have the frunk power frunk uh, power trunk set up they have lighting they have a ton of stuff so go check out their website uh, dot com and then you can see what they got but yeah if you use my code for any other uh, other than audio you get 15% off and then anything with audio you'll get 10% off so yeah go check that out uh, I got a bunch more stuff going on that's why I've been making so much videos as much because I got a lot of other projects going right now but yeah stick with me stick with us and uh, subscribe thank you everybody that has subscribed so far and uh, keep the journey going so, all right guys take care happy Father's Day to all the dads out there and uh, we'll see you next time